Hello guys, my name is Danny Kluczynski. My name is Joe Tluczynski, Danny's dad. And I'm Christian Tluczynski, I'm Danny's brother. We're here to suggest a new movie marathon for you to watch. Um, and Danny, what is it? Um, it's called Paranormal Activity. Paranormal Activity. Okay, and so what do you think about this movie? Well, it's about two levels. <laughs> okay. They're living together, right? Yes. And what are their names? Their names are Katie and Mika. Katie and Mika. Katie and Mika. And uh, Mika is like probably one of the most annoying characters <clears throat> that you will ever see in the movie. Mm -hmm. And so the first time I saw this movie, that was kind of hard for me to get beyond it. I was waiting for him to meet his demise and hoping for it. And uh, what happens in the movie? What happens to Mika? Um, he has been killed. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you like Mika? Um, I'm being too harsh, perhaps. <laughs> I follow the real Mika on Twitter, and he seems like a good guy in real life. Yeah. But yeah, and, and half of the purpose of his character is probably to be annoying. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, and in that regard, he does a good job. Really good job. So. Okay. And so, the, those people who haven't watched uh, Paranormal Activity ever, it is a um, story, it's found footage, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's found footage, one of the first. Well, no. I mean, it will. It's. Uh, there are a lot of found footage movies throughout the. Like, starting with, you know, Blair Witch Project and stuff. And there are a lot of crappy ones. Wait, that's not real? Ones. Never mind. Anyway, there are a lot of good ones and there are a lot of crappy ones. More crappy than good. So I, so I would say this was a return to form for found footage movies. When Paranormal Activity came out, people were like, oh, holy crap. That's right. These movies can be really good sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, Right. And so basically it's a story about this couple who are living in their apartment and uh, paranormal occurrences begin to happen, which they have difficulty explaining. Mm -hmm. Uh, until the end. Is is there a little twist at the end? Mm. A little twist. Got right. it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, we already spoiled that Mika dies, but the circumstances of his death are where some of the mystery is, I suppose. And we'll be left, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, after paranormal activity comes what? Paranormal activity 2. Paranormal Activity 2. What happens in Paranormal Activity 2? Um, it's about with Christy and her baby. Okay, so does Paranormal Activity 2 start where Paranormal Activity 1 ends? Or does it tell us what happened before? I think it does have an well the first one and it's been come back with, with no two and I guess Mika the two comes back in two. Mm -hmm. Well it does it go ha part of it happens before and part of it happens during and part of it happens after. Mm -hmm. So it loops loops around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and why it does starts to fill in some of the gaps because paranormal activity is just like a, a movie of stuff happening in my opinion it doesn't really Good explain reason. anything it's just like hey look look at look at this stuff happening mm -hmm. so paranormal activity 2 i guess kind of starts the process of explaining some of why this was taking place right so and why it's happening to katie and why it's happening to her sister right Who's Christy in this film? Okay. Now, speaking of annoying mm -hmm. characters. Yeah. Um, go ahead. The dad in this one is even more annoying than Mika. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't know, thinks he's a tough guy, thinks he's a smart guy, turns out he's a dumb guy. 
Yeah. And uh, doesn't yeah, work out so well for right. him. No, he realizes it too late. Much too late. Too late. What What, what are your thoughts, Danny? Hmm. Do you have a favorite character or anything? I know I do like Christy because Christy was always always getting dragon because he was somebody else was dragging her down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a pretty famous scene in this one where she's getting dragged by an unseen force. Mm -hmm. Christy. Yeah. Mother of Hunter. 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 Christy. Uh, here's my impersonation of Christy. <laughs> well, it is, is, uh, sets the, the, the atmosphere for it. But uh, yeah, a anything else? No. There, there's one thing I find interesting about this one too. The one and only character who, oh, should we say that? Uh, we'll just say that there, uh, there's a character in Paranormal Activity 2 who uh, returns in, in a later installment. In a later installment that does indeed happen after the events of Paranormal Activity 1 and 2. So it's not a flashback or anything. She survives this ordeal and, and, uh, and it ends up appearing in later installments. Right. I'll also not mention. saying she's the only one that survives. Right. I also forgot to say for Paranormal Activity I told you this. I found it quite amusing when Danny and I watched it to get ready for this, that uh, in the beginning, Paramount Pictures thanks the families of Mika and, uh, and, and Katie, Katie for, for the footage, <laughs> which I'm just imagining all the people out there who are like, oh, it's, it's true, it's yeah. true. So, okay, after Paranormal Activity 2 comes... Paranormal Activity 3. 3. <clears throat> now, time sequence wise, where are we going? Are we going forward or are we going backwards? Christian? We're going back going to where the activity back. began. Somewhere there. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes back to when the main characters from uh, the second one when they were and children. The first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the first one. Yeah, when they were children. Mm -hmm. 1988, I think, is the year mm -hmm. it's supposed to be. Now, likability of the characters in this one? Good. They're all, this is one of the few in the series, if not the only one, where pretty much everybody's pretty likable and you can stick for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only one who maybe isn't likable would be, like, maybe beware of your mother-in-law. Yeah, Katie's, Katie and Christie's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. She's kind of pretty spooky. Oh, what did you think about the third one? You like it? I do like it. What, what, what would you say your favorite one is out of these three? Oh, maybe the paranormal activity one, two, or three. I don't think I like <clears throat> both. All like of them? Three? Yeah, but all of them. Yeah, I think you kind of like the first one the best, though. My opinion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, in in this one, what? They're filling in some of that background still. Mm -hmm. Like, why is this stuff? Why did it happen in the first one, in the second one? Um, mm -hmm. And again, if we're not going to be giving anything away, it uh, mm -hmm. has a pretty good ending to it, I would mm -hmm. say. Well, no. No? I don't, well, I mean, it's... it's well, it's not like, it's yeah, it's I'm not so, a, like, tears of joy. Yeah, it's not a happy <laughs> ending. But honestly, none of these do. <laughs> so, but I mean, it's, it's a good one. I, this is my favorite of the, of the first three. It's probably my favorite overall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Paranormal Activity 3. So, it kind of takes us up to what happened in the other two. And, like, okay, now you know more about what's going on and why this stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Which then takes us to Paranormal Activity 4. 4. 
four. What's up with four? Hmm. I think it's about the candy. Mm -hmm. So it's up. This is after uh, do he found Hunter Ray. Hunter Ray. Hunter Ray. So Hunter again is the the son of Christy, uh, Katie's sister. And Katie does come back in this one, mm -hmm. but she's not quite herself. And so this has to do with um, the, the family that Hunter is living with now after the events of two. And uh, yeah, and what Katie's been up to. We get some more backstory into right. what she's been up to and what she's been doing. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, this one is amusing because the house, uh, the family that has Hunter as an adopted son, they have a teenage daughter, and there's marital strife with the parents, and then there's the cutesy boyfriend with the teenage daughter, and, mm -hmm. well, you know, that's not going to end well for anyone. Yeah. doesn't end well for anybody. Okay. I, I personally, I, I think Paranormal Activity 4 is kind of more of the same. Um, I like them all, but I, I think in my opinion this would probably be the... Uh, weakest one because it's just kind of more of the same but other people I guess would have different opinions like Danny what do you think hmm. paranormal activity four yeah it's your jam you mm -hmm. like it okay so and then what and then that was that and then what are there any more mm-hmm we got like two more okay well all of a sudden why do they do? They throw us a little curveball because it's not necessarily Paranormal Activity 5, although it is. It's one. the marked ones. The marked ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm not saying it's my favorite, but in my opinion, this might be the one that's most well made. I think there's lots of twists and turns and creepy things going on. Yeah. Uh, now this one's genuinely scary, at the, and uh, I mean they all have their moments, yeah. but this one's pretty freaky, and it happens with a whole new group of characters, one reoccurring character mm -hmm. from Paranormal Activity 2 makes an appearance, and uh, yeah, but it's totally different characters, but it still leads us back into right. events, all the way back to the first one. Mm -hmm. so. And I mean, you know, if you like ethnic or cultural things is the one Wikipedia states it's uh, you know taken into a Latin community mm -hmm. and so you've got like this layer of stuff going on there that's kind of unique to that right you know? some cool cultural yeah. things I think they should do a Polish one <laughs> I really do <laughs> but, but anyway but yeah this is, this is a really good one Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like this one. I, they, they use the uh, Simon game in it, which yeah, it was like I, a also, Ouija board conduit sort yeah. of thing. It's so kind of cool. And if you are, uh, have a Simon game, uh, you watch the movie, it's just going to not be quite the same anymore. <laughs> right. And si the Simon game, for those who don't know, is the one, it's the four, four colors. Four colors. Four colors, and it, it, and it gives you like a, a, a tone. And a pattern to match and you by have memory. To remember. Yeah. So, but this one, it's broken, but it only gives yes or no. Yeah. Answers. So the colors are blue, yellow, red, green, mm -hmm. and in this one, obviously, like the blue and the yellow are broken. Red means no, uh -huh. and the uh, green means yes. So. So yeah, Simon plays a big role. Yeah. Okay. And it kind of loops around, right? You know. Mm -hmm takes us all the way back yeah. at one point. So there's a part where it's it's looping into the other movies and that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. so. so whether it's my favorite or second favorite or whatever, I think this is a really good one. Okay, and then what are we left with? We are left with Danny. We are left Paranormal Tilly, the, the Dark Lift Mansion. The, the Ghost, ghost dimension. dimension, yeah. So I guess what, technically, number-wise, this would be six. six. Okay. And uh, so, <laughs> well, what do you think? We'll start with the positive. Well, what do you think, Dan? 
I think it's good, but they have dialogue because it's a tremendous game. That's why I do with the uh, number three. It just takes everything in place. It takes you by tapes, by tapes. And Tony totally shows you what he's playing. It's supposed to say, we'll do, we'll ha. And then they should, should, should really copy it. And now the father to totally catch on the camera and she was playing the B Bloody Mary game. Mm -hmm. That's on the, the videotapes. So this is a family, they move into this house. And they find that in the house was this box of videotapes. Mm -hmm. And they're watching the videotapes and they're seeing all this stuff where the, the people, us in the audience, right, we know this is from these other movies, Paranormal mm -hmm. Activity 1 and 2 and whatnot, and 3. And, um, but there, there's parts where, yeah, they're playing Bloody Mary. Yeah. And they're being trained by these weird like, yeah. cultish people to do certain strange things. And then the images in the videotape begin to interact with the people in this movie who are watching them. So that's kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. I talk to my TV all the time. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, okay, uh, Christian, go ahead, go for it. Well, what do you think about this? It stinks, poor, bad, not a fan at all. The, um, the aspect, the only aspect of it that's interesting is the, the, the tapes from the past interact with the people in the present. And yeah, there's more, again, this, this was, for me, this one is the more of the same sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, and, it, and it, we were given information before we went to see it that this indeed was intended to be the last one. So it, with that anticipatory piece, also, you go into it, and when it's done, you're like, that stinks, this sucks, this was bad, this was a bad conclusion. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, they're making another one, but yeah, I mean, this is bad, this is a bad one, I don't like it, <laughs> don't like really anything about it, it's not scary, I, didn't think, I don't think it's spooky or anything, again, the only time that it does get into spooky territory is with the videos from the past, and mm -hmm. some of the, you get some more insight on some culty stuff that's happening, mm -hmm. uh, but... Yeah, well, I, I, I think there's some creepy parts, right? Mm -hmm. You do too. But the, the part Poor. that's supposed to be creepy, I, I don't think is the creepy part. I think mm -hmm. like there's other things about it. Um, you, you mentioned the, the daughter in this one, mm -hmm. you know, watching the tapes. And the daughter in this one is like, for me, Mika in the first one. It's like, a, yeah, she, yeah, not likable. She's definitely not uh, like yeah, I don't think really any of the characters in this are very likable. Even the priest that they bring in at one point, <laughs> the, he's yeah, annoying. Well, or priest, minister, or whatever. The acting. Uh, justice poor. of the peace. I'm not really quite sure <laughs> what, what his background is. He does some really ridiculous things. Um, did we see this in the movies, Dan? Uh, yes. Uh, where, do you remember where we saw it? Um, is it in the mall? We went to see it in the no, It had a limited release because it's 3D, mm -hmm. and it was in, uh, we had to go see it in the Schuylkill Valley Mall mm -hmm. Theater, which was really cool. It was yeah. re really neat. Yeah, it was and the Schuylkill Valley Mall uh, is no longer there. Yeah. So that's sad. But yeah, the seats were upholstered. And yeah. It was, it was kind of, it was cool. They were like orange and like mm -hmm. and yellow upholstered. It was weird. Yeah. But it was cool. But so, yeah, yeah there's some 3D effects, which when you have it and you're watching it 2D, still kind of translate a little bit, I, I think, some of the stuff. It's really, like, you know, different than Christian. I, I, I actually like this. It might, it might be one of my uh, favorite ones. And when I was thinking about it, when Danny and I were watching these all again, and uh, like the old man I am, I, I fell asleep the first time we were watching it, so I went back and watched it again to make up for that. But it occurred to me, when is this movie taking place? What time of the year? Um, I think the priest is right. The story says about 2666. Yeah, well, that's the 666 thing and the, the all that stuff with the uh, trying to do an exorcism and whatnot. But what time of the year is it? Like, is there a holiday going on? Oh, yeah, Christmas. Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. 
It's a Christmas movie. Like, you could watch It's a Wonderful Life and Ghost Dimension. Back to back. I think you it would could. be. <laughs> you could. You could. not saying that you should. <laughs> it stinks. Merry Christmas, Toby. Yeah, Toby, too. <laughs> How's that, boy? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting. But like you said, all is well because they're, they're making they another know, one. They, and, could, uh, they, could, they could leave this in the rearview mirror where it belongs because it stinks. <laughs> it's poor. Bad. Very bad movie. Yeah. I find the house they're in also very interesting. Well, I do think, isn't it supposed to be the house from the third one? I thought that was the part of the reason how they find the tapes in there is that it's the house from the third one. <laughs> I thought oh, that was it. Well, either way. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So, final words on paranormal activity marathon. Um, uh, um. Do you have a favorite out of all of them? I think I just like all of them to watch. Okay. Do you have a least favorite? Um. I don't know what was my least favorite, but but I but I really like them all because those are one of my favorites to watch because I don't even have a favorite yet. Okay, so what you're saying, out of all like horror movies uh, and suspense and mystery movies and whatnot, you like the Paranormal Activity I franchise. I do, and I will attest to that as he he watched them quite frequently. Mm -hmm. Christian, any final word? Yeah, the first five are really good. And, and the third one is probably the, my favorite. Um, yeah, you, you can just read the Wikipedia page for Ghost Dimension or something. Mm -hmm. You don't need to watch it. Yeah. Or if you want to watch it, go ahead. I don't care. Yeah. It's not a total disaster, but it, it stinks. It's not good. Well, you know what Rotten Tomato said about the third one. No. <laughs> you check out Rotten Tomatoes if you want. Okay. <laughs> you ready to say so long? Yeah. Okay. Sign out. Peace. 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 I got a video camera. What's going to happen now? See you later.